Hi, and welcome to lesson three. In this lesson, we will talk about how to prepare effectively for your own upcoming test. If you recall, in the introduction to this course, I mentioned that by taking this course, you're making a very important step on the way to maximize your own score potential. Uh, maximizing your own score potential is a fact, and it is backed by science, it is acknowledged by the test providers. It basically means that without preparation, you are missing your own score potential. Um, and I'd like you to know this as soon as possible, uh, because with the right tactics and strategy, you can definitely take your score higher than it is today. So let's have a quick look at some tips and tricks on how to prepare effectively for your own test. The most popular problem when preparing for a cognitive ability test is lack of time. The two main reasons for this lack of time are either procrastination or ignorance. When I say ignorance, I mean that candidates are sometimes not fully aware of how much practice in advance they require in order to reach their full potential. In my opinion, the best way to deal with these two obstacles is by starting to prepare for those tests as soon as you start considering to apply for a job. You should pin slots in your calendar that will be dedicated to practice and you must research each employer on your list to make sure you know exactly which tests are used. You have to assess your strengths and weaknesses as early as possible in the process. This will help you build an efficient study plan. Find the identity of the test publisher that each employer uses and do everything you can to get official sample questions. Remember, not to waste time on generic practice resources and make sure you train on relevant items per each test you take. In today's assessment industry, terms like numerical reasoning are just too general and can include tens of different question types. Be sure to focus on the topics that will appear on your own test. When considering building a study plan, please note that quick improvements in performance are only applicable to some of the question styles. If you have 48 hours or less, focus on full-length practice tests and deep analysis of your answers. If you have more than 48 hours at your dispense, build a study plan and use the first encounter with the test to spot your weaknesses because they should be at the center of your plan. Here is an example of a two-week study plan that includes 45 to 80 hours of practice in total, depending on your motivation and learning curve. This brings us to the end of Lesson 3. I hope you found it useful. Let's move on to Lesson 4, which will focus on the verbal reasoning section of cognitive ability tests.